Hey guys, it's KJ. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thanks for coming. And if you're coming back, as always, thank you for coming back. Today I have someone special with me, if you couldn't tell. Uh, my husband, John. Hello. John and I both work for the Disney company. We both work for the ESPN silo of the company. So because of that, we are considered cast members. So we decided to make a bucket list. All right, so the first thing on my list, again, in no particular order, I have run a Disney race. We could do, I guess, like a 5K or 10K. We don't have to run a full marathon, so you can handle that, right? I can handle walking it. Yeah, we could walk it. Why not? One of the first things on my list would be going on a Disney cruise, been to both of the parks in the United States never have gone on a Disney cruise. There's so many different locations and seeing their private island resort in the Caribbean, that would uh, that would probably be atop my list. As a top of your list? Probably, because I've never done it. It'd be such a different yeah. experience. I guess. I mean, going to the international parks is up there with that, but I feel like it's easier to get on a Disney cruise at this point than, mm. than just like saying, hey, we're going to Asia for the week, you know? And just Yeah. Well, that is on our bucket list also, going to all of the parks. I've actually been to one more park than John has. I have been to, it was Euro Disney at the time, now it's Disneyland Paris, but I guess that still counts. It's still the same thing, right? Yep. Uh, it's not finished or built yet, but I want to go to the Star Wars, uh, stay at the Star Wars Hotel, which will be built at the Walt Disney World Resort in the coming years and it's supposed to be adjacent to the new uh, Galaxy's Edge Star Wars land at Walt Disney World. To add to that, to stay in every Disney resort, we've stayed in a lot and we're going, oh also we are going to Disney in March in a few weeks for our one year anniversary. We got engaged in Disney, story for another time, uh, but yeah so that's also on my list so we're, you know, I've stayed, I think the only place I've stayed that you haven't or that we don't have in the works is Fort Wilderness. You said it a bunch that I haven't stayed at, though. Yeah, I think there's only a few I haven't stayed at. Um, the Boardwalk Hotel, Yacht and Beach Club, and I think Caribbean Beach. And going to uh, cross out a lot of those off the list this year. Yeah. So like despite being <laughs> in Walt Disney World 20 plus times or something like that, I've never actually been to Blizzard Beach. Um, a lot of times I go, it seems to be closed because I, I like going during the Christmas season or sometimes early in the spring. Uh, so one of these days we've been to Typhoon Lagoon and loved it. We're going to try to go to Blizzard Beach sometime in the next uh, few years just to get there. I will do everything but Summit Plummet. I'm <laughs> deathly afraid of a slide that tall with no raft. So If you've done it, <laughs> let us know in the comments below. Now that you can bring your dog to Disney is to bring Squigs. So you guys know how much I love my dogs, especially Squigs. And I don't know if that's a realistic thing to have on the bucket list. She's about 16 now so we'd probably have to take her in like the next few years or well, she's living forever but you know probably in the next few years so we are staying at the yacht club where you can take your dog we should take her uh, okay. <laughs> two things that are on my list that sort of fall into similar areas are one i would love to attend uh the disney expo d23 and the d23 is at is in anaheim it's usually a three-day expo, and they tell you all about what's going on at the Walt Disney Company mm. over the next few years. And um, it's just one of those things that's on my bucket list. And something else kind of falls into that kind of like peek behind the company is I um, always wanted to take the Keys to the Kingdom tour mm. at the Magic Kingdom. Um, I think it's, what, five hours long? Yeah, we did it's the Marceline Marceline. Oh yeah, we did do a tour. That's right. That was much shorter. We did shorter. a tour. Yeah, yeah, it was the Marceline tour. I forget the exact name of it. Got to go behind the scenes on rides such as Haunted Mansion. Mm. Um, well, that's the only one that they really took you backstage. Yeah, we rode. It was oh, Winnie the Pooh. We rode. Yeah, on. Winnie the Pooh and Carousel of Progress. But you get to go behind the scenes for Haunted Mansion, and that is hands down one of my top favorite rides in any of the three parks that I've been to. Um, so that was pretty cool to see. Do every ride show at Magic Kingdom in one day, which. We did every ride in one day, but what what did we do? We didn't do Hall of Presidents or Storytime with Belle. Yeah, Enchanted Storytime with Belle. Yeah, those yeah. are the two we didn't do. And we tried to do Hall of Presidents, but it closed like 90 minutes before yes. the park. Yes, so and we didn't know that, so we, we got didn't really... caught off guard mm. there. So if you plan to do that, make sure you know all of the times. We had no idea that it closed early. I would like to see, I mean, really, I'd like to stay in the Cinderella suite, but that's probably not realistic. So at least just to see it in person, I think would be really cool. Well, I have two <laughs> things that involve golf. I've never played mini golf in Disney World. I mean, mini golf is pretty much the same everywhere, but there I imagine it's 10 times more spectacular. 
Um, and also, even though I'm not really a great golfer, playing at the Disney World courses, whether it's Magnolia, I'm not good enough to play at Magnolia. <laughs> I, think I'd hold, I think I'd hold up. I think they played a PGA Tour there. One, I don't uh, know. Once upon a time. But the bunkers are shaped like Mickey, so if you do love to oh. play golf, that's uh, you, it's at least hitting it in the sand is a, is a nice treat to know you're hitting it in Mickey's head. <laughs> Four parks in one day, which we've done. A princess makeover. I think this is new. So I saw on YouTube that you can get a princess makeover as an adult. So that is definitely on my list. Is that the Bippity Boppity? No, I think it's at Grand Floridian. Like my favorite princesses are... In order, Ariel, Rapunzel, and Belle. But since I have brown hair, I'd probably get a Belle makeover because she's the only one that I would actually look like. Luckily, Belle's my favorite princess, so. Okay. <laughs> Something on my list which we're actually going to accomplish in a couple of weeks when we're in Disney uh, is paddle boating somewhere on the property. So I'm interested in paddle boating. She wants to have a motorized boat. Well, I guess we'll see. We'll do either. We'll do both, maybe. I don't know. Club 33, so for those of you that don't know, it's an exclusive club with, you have to pay like thousands of dollars to get in and like maybe like 15,000 or more, something like that per year to be part of it. It's in Disneyland. Alani is on our list, but we did go to Alani last year for a honeymoon, which if you have not been, it's amazing. So you should go. <laughs> Didn't you love Alani? I did, which is why I have other non-Disney world, the Disney theme park resorts on my list like what? Like Vero Beach. Oh, yes. I kind of like Alani on the, well, not, I mean, it's not. It's Alani, not even close to, but, it's, but it's, it's, same know, idea. Yeah, it's a non-theme park resort. Yeah. There's one in Hilton Head, too. That didn't make my list, but. That's on my list. Why I, not? I don't know. Why not? Yeah. Dine at all table service restaurants. That's on my list, because I would just love to try them. We've done a lot of them in the parks, but not really at the different resorts, because we're always in the parks. But this trip... Uh, we should calculate how many we still need to go to, because I think you're <laughs> underestimating how many... I mean, in Epcot alone, there's like True. one to two per country. But we're only in our 30s. In California, they're supposed to, rumor, uh, rumor has it, build a land that's dedicated to the Avengers and Marvel characters, mm -hmm. uh, because they can't build something like that in Orlando due to conflicts with Universal. Right. Once they build that, I think they're doing away with Bugs Land and we'll have, you know, whether it be a Captain America roller coaster mm. or Iron Man, whatever it may be. Um, they already have the Guardians breakout there, so they're supposed to expand on that on that land about two more two more uh, rides. So That's my favorite once completed, ride. it should be pretty cool. It should make Disneyland a real destination with that and the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Mickey Not So Scary and Mickey's Very Merry Christmas we've done, but those are on my list. I've just checked them off. Disney Adventure Vacation. That would be really cool. For those of you who don't yeah. know, they do Disney, Disney does their adventure vacations and they're like everywhere in the world. So right. adventure by Disney. Want, yes, that's what it's called. So I would definitely want to do that. There's a couple of the Disney Cirque, was it Cirque de Soleil? Is that how it's Cirque pronounced? Cirque de Soleil. Is that how you pronounce it? Though? Cirque de Soleil. All right. Well, okay. there's supposed to be a new show. Um, coming. Oh, there is? Yeah, that's, we talked about this. I forget what, uh, I want to say it has to do with animals. We did talk about this. Sure. I wanted to have afternoon tea at the Grand Floridian. I've had a breakfast with the characters there, all the British characters. Ride a Surrey bike, which we will probably do this trip at the boardwalk. Um, Wait, what are we doing? Riding a Surrey bike. Remember I told you what that was? You ride I, next I to each other? Oh. You ride oh, next oh, yes, to each yes, other. Yes, yes. They look like paddle boats on land. That's what I told you they look yes. like. Oh, yeah. There's a lot I want to do at Fort Wilderness Lodge. Fort Wilderness Lodge? Not the lodge. The campground. Yeah, Fort Wilderness Campground? campground? Yeah. But you can sing, sing along, or have a sing along with Chip and Dale at a campfire, which I think sounds cool. You can ride horses, you can do the Segway tour. So we need to go. At the entrance of Disneyland, the only two times we've been there, the because of construction for Star Wars Land or Galaxy's Edge, the train, the. Um, oh. What would you call yes. it? A, uh, the train. It's a train. But yeah, it's the a Disneyland specific train. Type. It's like a. You know, oh, the Lily Bell. Yeah, okay. Uh, was After down and was not running, so we've never actually rode it. We've, we've there's dinosaurs. We have uh, at the Disneyland train. We have taken the one at Disney Walt Disney World, hmm. um, but never the one at Disneyland. And the other thing under construction currently at the Walt Disney World Resort are the sky gondolas that will connect a couple of the resorts. I think Pop Century is one of them. Hmm. Um, it's going to take you to Hollywood Studios. I think it's also going to connect the new resort that's for DCA, that's Disney Vacation Club <sighs> members. Um, yes. 
I'm really jealous. We can't or DVC, I said DCA. DVC. Uh, DVC members. Yeah. That's going to be the Riviera. So uh, riding on one of those, one of those sky rides, if you will, um, that's also on my list once it's up and running. I would love to go back with my whole family, my immediate family. So I'm the oldest of five, so all of my siblings, so can have any others, and if there's any kids at some point, I guess we could bring them too. We could bring your kids if you want. Yeah. I mean, I've always wanted to take a trip with uh, my brother. He has three kids. I have two kids currently. Um, and make a, mm -hmm. while they're still young, make a trip out of that as well. Yeah, well, I think it would be great. I want, ideally, I'd really love to go with my cousins also because one of my favorite trips ever, no offense, in my whole life was when I was in, I think, sixth grade. And I'm one of five, my cousins, there's four of them, and I've got four kids. So the nine of us went, and it was just like the best memories I have from my childhood. So that would be like really reaching, but. It's a bucket list, so maybe it can happen. One of the other things I would actually like to do, um, uh, it's on the bucket list, if it never happens, so be it, but would be to have dessert and watch the fireworks at night. There's like a special mm. spot in Tomorrowland. It's Wild Africa Trek. So that's like a behind the scenes of the safari, which I think would be awesome. We've done the safari plenty of times, but I think it'd be really cool to see it on the back end and just get a behind the scenes and you can have breakfast on the safari. We've seen people though. Yeah, in fact we safari. saw them when we were looking at the uh, crocodiles or alligators, whichever ones they were, and they actually... Um, I thought it was by the wild dogs. Oh, oh, we no, did see we, them we, by we the... Saw, saw yes! By the crocodiles, because they, 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 they tether them to mm -hmm. like the rocks. Um, no thanks. Because they have to kind of like peer over the cliff about that. to the alligators below, and I guess they don't want someone um, Heck no. slipping. Heck no. Nope. Um, I'm not so. relying on a rope to keep me from falling into a pit of alligators. No thanks. I'll stand behind the fence and just look over. I want to do a spa day at Disney. I'm supposed to be getting a massage at the Yacht Club when we go this time. John is not big on that, so he's not going to do a couple's massage. I'm going alone. But I'm excited to do that because I never have done that. One of the things that we did, um, was it two years ago, that we always, I always want to do is watch a movie in Walt Disney World or watch a movie in a Disney park or whatever you want to call it, resort. And we saw the um, live action of Beauty and the Beast at the mm -hmm. AMC there in Disneyland, right across from where our hotel was. It's part of the property yeah. it's in downtown Disney of Disneyland and it was uh, it was great. There's a McDonald's, which you didn't know. No, One day it's I want... not part of the park. It's on the property. So it's the, like the roads right are on near... the property and Disney doesn't own the roads. It's right near Pop Century. Going to the McDonald's, I, I, I don't know, just to say like, hey, I one time ate at the McDonald's. At, I'm not even a big McDonald's person, but I do like their chocolate shakes, though. Um, so that would be pretty cool to go to the McDonald's on the Disney World property. I've never seen the gingerbread houses or gingerbread house, the giant gingerbread house of the Grand Floridian. So I would let, have you seen that? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. It's in, <clears throat> I believe it's in the main lobby. lobby. Yeah. I've never seen it, so I think that will be cool to see. Is it only during Christmas time? Yeah. The Gingerbread House. I'm pretty sure I've seen it. I like can envision it. But I might be thinking of something else. Have you seen a Gingerbread House when it wasn't Christmas time? Comment down below and let me know. <laughs> the Kitchen Sink at Beaches and Cream. I don't know if that's at Beach or Yacht. It's at one of those. But I feel like you could tackle that. Uh, a lot of times, though, those ice cream desserts have flavors that I don't care about. Like, Well, you could definitely I don't like finish it. Uh, pistachio. I don't like kind of coffee. I, like, there's always Why something Why do you think in there. those are the things that are going to be in it? I don't know. I, well, because pistachio is in like all those types of things. No, it's not. And there's always walnuts. And I don't like walnuts. You can also get a smaller version of the kitchen sink. I'm not sure what it's called, but I you can... I chocolate and hot fudge. <laughs> so if they have a massive thing of that... You know what holiday I want to see? Easter. That's definitely on my bucket list of seeing the Easter parade down Main Street at Disney World. Dime with an Imagineer. So, for those of you that don't know, the Imagineers are the ones who basically come up with all the cool stuff that happens. Doing food and wine again is, I would say I'd put it back on my list because we've been there for food and wine but never actually did it until last year with my sister and my brother-in-law. So that was a, like a total blast. And I would recommend going with other people just because you get small portion sizes which you're like, oh, like I can eat this. But by the time we were like, I mean, we didn't get through the whole thing. I'd love to go through yeah. the whole thing. So that's why I'd keep it on my bucket list. But, um, so they give you the small portion sizes, so we just split everything. We had to take a break, like, midway through, and we rode a few rides, and then came back, and 
it, w it was still like impossible to do. So we'd probably have to do that over like a, a few days to finish it. But I'm not sure when this got on my bucket list, but one of the things maybe since we got together was to get engaged at Disney and waited. Um, but <laughs> well, we're married now, so. Oh, John and I got engaged at Disney, so that's pretty cool that I got to check that off my list. I know what the last thing on my bucket list would be. Maybe not getting married in Disney, putting on my wedding dress and taking anniversary photos at Disney. Cause we thought about doing that, about going to Disney before going to our honeymoon on Halani and taking wedding photos, but it just didn't happen. So I would say that that's on my list, which maybe we do for our five year anniversary cause I don't want to be too old. <laughs> right. So that would probably be where my bucket list ends. We actually saw a couple doing their pictures one morning. We went, it's yeah. before the park opens, but if you have a breakfast reservation before the park opens, which helpful hint, you can do that. Um, that's when they do it. So we saw a couple in Magic Kingdom doing their pictures. So I'd really like to do that. I'd say that that would be where I'll end my list. We hope you guys liked our bucket list. That is ever changing, but uh, the more things that Disney adds, I'm sure the more things that we will add to our bucket list. And maybe the older we get, I might take some things off because the older I get, the more afraid of things I become. So <laughs> this list could just change by the year. But for now, in 2019, that is our bucket list. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my wonderful husband for joining me for this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. We plan to do more videos like this since we are such avid Disney fans and both cast members. And uh, we will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. See you at the park. <laughs>